Hi, my name is Simon. On average, it takes a person about seven minutes to fall asleep. Some people take a little bit less, some people take a lot longer. I'm generally someone that falls asleep quite quickly, but on nights when I do struggle, here's what I do. In the first part of this video, I'm gonna be going through what I do to set myself up so I can have a good night's sleep. And in the second part of this video, I'm gonna be going through what I actually do when I'm in bed to help me fall asleep faster. So here we go. The first thing that I make sure that I do is, is I get some exercise at some point throughout the day. This may not seem like an exciting thing to do, but the research backs this like crazy. A mere 30 minutes of moderate or intense exercise can help you fall asleep faster that night and it can help you stay asleep for longer as well. If you are going to exercise at night, try and make sure that you leave a two hour gap between the time you exercise and the time you fall asleep. The main reason why this has helped me a lot is because I know that when we were in lockdown and my knee was still stuffed up, I wasn't doing too much exercise. So I wasn't moving too much throughout the day. I wasn't even really going for walks. And what I found was, was that by the time the day ended and by the time I got into bed, I was physically not tired. So I was physically, awake and then that would lead me to grabbing my phone going on tiktok or scrolling through instagram or going on my ipad or watching a few youtube videos and then before i knew it it was about one two three in the morning and that would screw me up for the next day but when i do exercise by the time i get into bed i am actually physically drained to some extent now notice how i said moderate exercise so it doesn't have to be something that's too intense you can just go for a brisk walk i know some days when i was doing a bit of housework that was enough to get me physically tired for the day and so I could fall asleep that night pretty well. Essentially just try and get some good amount of physical movement throughout the day and that should help a lot. Another thing that I do to kind of prepare for a good night's sleep is to make sure that I don't drink coffee before 2 p.m. This is something that I picked up from Matthew Walker's book Why We Sleep. It's a pretty good read and it basically stated how coffee has a ridiculous half-life. It's something like eight hours and if you have coffee in the evening or at night you're going to have two problems. You're either going to struggle trying to fall asleep or you're going to continuously wake up throughout the night and I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot of other things that it does to your sleep. But on this, I'm the type of person to have a cup of coffee and then one or two hours later, I'm fast asleep. And if you're someone like me, whether or not we think the coffee affects us, it actually does anyway, because the caffeine is still in our system. So as an overall general rule, try not to have coffee after 2 p.m. And one more thing that I do is I make sure that I have blackout blinds or blockout curtains or something along those lines. My room has blockout blinds. Just luckily enough, like occasionally light can like kind of sleep out through the sides, but it's not too much at all. And so when I shut down the blockout blind, the room is basically as dark as it can get. When the room that you sleep in is dark, it sends signals to the brain to secrete melatonin. And that's what starts to make you feel sleepy. If you have light in your room, your brain doesn't signal to your body to start producing this. And so that's why by the time you get into bed, if you feel like if your brain detects that there is still light in the room, then your brain and your mind are pretty much still active. And so that's why by the time you switch off the light, it takes a bit of time for you to start feeling sleepy and then actually fall asleep. It's probably one of the most easiest and simple methods that you can implement to kind of design your life so that you can prepare yourself for a good night's sleep. Okay, so for the next part of this video, picture this. You go to bed, your head hits the pillow, and then hundreds and thousands of thoughts flood your mind. You start thinking about what happened in the past, you start worrying about what happens in the future, and then all of a sudden it feels like you're thinking at 100 miles an hour. How on earth are you going to sleep? Well, let me share with you a technique developed by the US Navy to help pilots fall asleep during war. And if pilots can fall asleep during war, then I'm pretty sure we can fall asleep while hundreds and thousands of thoughts are flooding our mind. Here's the process. It's essentially a body scan all the way from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. It starts off with your face and your face is key. So what you do when you lie down is you focus on just relaxing all the muscles in your face. There's about 43 muscles in your face. Obviously I can't name all of them, but you essentially start from your forehead, you go to your eyes, you go to your nose, you go to your cheeks, and you go to your jaw and you go to your neck, right? Even right now, you might even feel in your jaw specifically that you might have locked your jaw at the moment. You might be feel a little bit tight around the cheekbones, a little bit tight around the forehead as well. So even right now, as you're watching this video, like relax those areas and you'll just see how like how much kind of almost relief and relaxation that you can feel the key thing here is to do it mindfully so really slowly don't rush it and if you've done it properly then what you'll find is, is before you even get to the rest of your body you're pretty much asleep there's so many times when i've done this and 
I don't even, I remember when I wake up in the morning that I started relaxing my face, but I don't remember what happened after that. But if you're on asleep, then obviously move down to your neck and then move to your shoulders. Like you just drop and relax your shoulders. And then you move to one side of your body, preferably your dominant first. So I'll start off with my right arm, my bicep, and go down to the tricep, go down to the forearm, and then you do the same thing on the other side. And then you obviously do the lower half of your body. And hopefully at some point throughout that whole process, you have fallen asleep. Now, another thing to remember here is I want you to breathe in a very relaxed, manner at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Not too fast, but not ridiculously slow either. The reasoning behind this is that you're reducing the number of thoughts that are going through your mind because now you've got something to focus on. And in my opinion, when we hit the hay and hundreds and thousands of thoughts flood our mind, our minds are just incredibly active. And so it doesn't know exactly what to think about. But if you give it a avenue to think, or you give it a task to do, then it can very easily hone in on that and stay focused. And this is one way of doing it. Another neat trick that you can use to try and fall asleep while you're already in bed is to try staying awake. I literally mean lay on your back, stare at the ceiling, and try thinking about staying awake. It's meant to be a paradoxical intention where you fall asleep by trying to stay awake. Now this doesn't mean that you're on your phone and you're scrolling while you're in bed. That's not how it works. You're literally staring at the ceiling. Oh, and for people that struggle with insomnia, you would love this. It is effective and recommended therapy for treating insomnia. It can also help remove that anxiety that often comes when we try to fall asleep. So if you are someone that does struggle to fall asleep, make sure you try one of these things out. And if you know someone else that struggles falling asleep or needs a bit of help with their sleep, make sure you send them this video so they can benefit from it too. And if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And on that note, I'm probably gonna go to bed now. So good night, good morning, good day, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.